Today we have the Dino Lab Tycoon update in Pet Simulator 99 and it seems to have promised a bunch more content for this week's update. Now really quickly we're just going to go through I think what the important things are about this update blog and then we're going to actually go ahead and play the update for ourselves. So as it says right here we are going to be able to build a dino research facility and with that we can collect coins and rebirth to fully complete and rebirth our island. A couple things we can expect in this update are going to be the new huge pet some new lab key cards as well as meteor gifts now we'll go over these meteor gifts more in a second here but as you can see here are some of the additions that you can do to your island so it sort of looks like to me that we're basically like doubling the size of our last island because all of this stuff on this side of the island you can see is from last week and then we have four new dino eggs which signifies that we will have four new areas on this island as well as three new huges for this update. So here are those huges. And then kind of an important piece about this update is that we're actually having a dino chest here. As you can see, this is what it's gonna look like. And from this chest, you can get those lab key cards, fossil tokens, dino gifts, and more. So it seems like this chest is gonna be very important, but it only does spawn every 15 minutes. I assume this is gonna be one chest that is gonna be in the middle of like everybody's islands on the server you're in. And it does say that the rewards are shared, so I'm not sure if you're actually going to be able to leave your server and go to a new public server and potentially be able to destroy another one of these chests. But anyways, moving on, we have that Tycoon Rebirth that we were talking about earlier, and you can rebirth to unlock coin bonuses as well as secret labs. And every time that you rebirth, your island will be destroyed. So I'm assuming this is that new content that they promised to add in this update, and this is going to be the big difference compared to the last update update where everybody was able to essentially finish their islands within like an hour or two. Now I'm not sure if that's necessarily adding more content like what people were thinking when they were asking for this. Making people redo the content that they've already done isn't necessarily what I think people were asking for. But either way I think it's still good to have that option to be able to grind more for your island if that's what you want to do. We'll have to see what these secret labs actually entail and whether or not it is worth it to rebirth like up to four times. So inside these secret labs, we actually have an egg that we're gonna be able to crack open to get the huge raptor. Now, each of the higher rebirths that we do unlock new doors that have better chances. So it says you can access all four of these doors with more rebirths. Not sure if this is gonna be like a temporary egg that's gonna be in here, or it's gonna be the new stat pet egg, but we'll be able to check this out in a second in game. Now, according to this part of the dev blog, it says that these lab key cards are only one time use is so because of this, it seems like it's going to be a timed egg that you only are able to open for a certain amount of time. And that you can also get these from the middle island. So that middle island chest that we talked about, as well as your regular breakables. And then another really important part about this update are these meteors, because it, breaking the meteor gives you a chance at the meteor gift bag, which gives you a chance at this huge right here. Actually, I'm not sure. You might just be able to get the huge from destroying the meteor itself. Okay. No, I'm pretty sure you can only get it from this gift bag. I, this is a little confusing right here, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means from reading the upper part once again. So here is that meteor gift and it has that chance at the huge triceratops. And you can also get these meteor gift bags just from regular breakables as well. So nothing too crazy. You don't have to go around and constantly farm these meteors. We also got six new booths that we can buy in the trading plaza now. Now, I'm not sure who was cooking in the big games lab when they created these, but these are really ugly. Honestly, I don't really have much more to say about them other than the fact that they are just really ugly. I think the coolest one that is here so far is this like lemonade stand because as you can see, it does have a chair right here. So I assume you can actually sit in it and it's kind of like you're selling lemonade, but instead you're like selling items in the game. So I, this one's kind of cool, I guess, but all these other ones are really bad. But besides that, they also added the ability to remove all charms from your huges by right clicking a hammer or charm chisel. 
so this is really good this is another thing we really needed in the game they've also apparently improved the loading speed into the game as well as other lag fixes they've also reduced the millionaire merchant xp rates so of course there they go at least they didn't silently nerf it this time and then besides that they also reduced the millionaire world auction speed so i'm not sure what this means i assume that means that the timer for the auctions is now more i believe it was 10 minutes before so maybe it's like 15 or something now but no more delay let's actually hop in the game and play this update for ourselves and see how it is all right so i'm here on my private server now we're gonna hop in and see what looks different so right off the bat i do have a max island here and it has a little arrow pointing to this new dino labs area we also have a rebirth shrine so let's just upgrade that so you go over here and you can unlock your free expansion of your island so you just walk over this and all you gotta do is click yes all right, so right off the bat, we already have a meteor that spawns somewhere. So let's actually go look for that and hopefully we can get a meteor gift bag. Okay, so I didn't notice, but there's actually a little area here for the meteor to spawn. So I guess it's not random. I thought this was something you're going to have to go around the island and look for. But oh my gosh, I do not do a lot of damage to this thing at all. I'm actually going to go ahead and put on my build with all of my orb enchants so we could speed this thing up a bunch. As you you can see it goes by a lot quicker when you have all of these orbs helping you to destroy this thing i also don't have any pets equipped right now so that also is probably playing a factor so with everything equipped and all of my pets it seems like it takes less than 30 seconds to break this so i guess it's not that bad and then that grants you one meteor gift bag now we could go ahead and actually open this up really quick see if we can get that brand new huge off the bat and of course we got nothing so let's just head over and continue playing this all right so we needed some coins really quickly so i put all of my pets up here so they could grind which means that we can now unlock this aquarium so it seems like it's going to be the same type of update from last week we're just going to have to keep going around and buying these upgrades when we can. So I'll probably just cut to the parts when we unlock some new cool stuff. Like right now, we can actually build these breakables, which we can actually use to start making even more coins quicker. Now, this upgrade says that it increases your breakable damage by 50%. Now, I'm not sure if this actually works because in the past, these types of upgrades don't really work very well. So really quickly, let's just test this out. As you can see, my rock right here is doing 4.6. 2k to these regular types of coins so let's buy this upgrade and see if that actually does increase so as predicted it didn't increase at all and we are still only doing 4.62k so that's actually pretty crazy big games that every single week these damage upgrades actually do nothing like that upgrade specifically said that it does plus 50% damage to breakables and these are breakables. So why am I not doing 50% more damage? Either way, though, we do need all of these upgrades anyways in order to progress and actually rebirth the island. So it's not really a big deal at all, but kind of just an annoying little feature that we now have every single week. All right. So I just got a notification that that large chest has spawned. So I'm not sure how we get over there, but I see it in the distance. So we're just going to swim over there on our hoverboard all right so we're definitely going to have to pull our pets over here because this thing has 174 billion health and so far each of the taps that we're doing is only doing 364k and this is with all of our orbs still attached to us all right so furthermore it doesn't look like it's even possible to break this i'm not sure if this is a bugged health or maybe we just need the higher level stat pets that we unlock later in the island so we're just going to head back to our island and keep grinding so that hopefully one day we can actually break that chest. And as you can see, according to this Tycoon Rebirth, we're only 76% of the way in. So for our second secret lab that we just unlock, it requires your Tycoon to be rebirthed three times. And that gives you a 25x huge chance, which is kind of significant, actually. Now, hopefully before the end of this video, I can actually get those huge chance odds for you so we can see if this is actually worth it or not. We also haven't gotten a lab key card yet, so we can't even open one of these if we wanted to. OK, so I've unlocked the final breakables area and I also unlocked this secret lab here. So this secret lab gives 
gives you a 50x huge chance, but it requires a Tycoon Rebirth of 8. So that means you gotta rebirth this thing 8 times in order to unlock this secret lab. Now, I do think this feature is kind of cool for the people that do actually grind the game every day. This gives them something to grind towards. But overall, from this update, it doesn't seem like there really is all that much content. It seems like Big Game's idea of content was just making it so the grind for this island takes a whole lot longer. And then finally, the last secret lab that we have is the 100x huge chance, and this requires Tycoon Rebirth 15. So as you can see on this leaderboard, some people are already at Rebirth level 4. Now, I don't want to make any accusations, but I don't think this is legit at all. It seems like this board is just going to be filled with a bunch of cheaters, to be honest. I don't think there is a single possible way that somebody is already at Rebirth level 4 and is playing the game legit. Now, besides all that, we do have a lot better of a stat pet now. So let's go over here and actually try to break this chest. So as you can see, now we're doing around 20 million per hit, which is a lot more than we were getting last time. So let's actually bring all of our pets over here as well. So this is actually a lot more manageable. So this actually makes a lot more sense. So hopefully we can actually get one of the key cards from destroying this. And it looks like we got a whole bunch of junk. So that definitely did not seem worth it at all. So we couldn't get one of the secret lab key cards for ourselves. So we're going to head into the trading plaza and go ahead and actually try to find one so that we could see what we actually get from the lab. Currently, the wrap value is 1.67 million for these Dino Lab key cards. So it's not very expensive at all. Wait, this guy actually has 43 of these. That's actually crazy. I'm guessing that these actually drop pretty often from the forever pack because it's seems like I haven't got a single one yet from grinding. So the only way this guy could possibly have 43 of these is that he has been buying the forever pack. So we're going to buy two of these and then let's head back and actually open our secret lab. All right. So keep in mind that we can't open any of the other three secret labs. We can only open this first one because we have not rebirthed yet. But when you open this door here, you get access to break this egg, which gives you a one X huge chance. All right. So after breaking that egg, the door or just closed and I guess we can buy it again so if we do that we can just go ahead and I guess keep constantly breaking this egg and getting a 1x chance at getting this huge so I'm not too sure what the odds to actually get the huge from this are but I assume they're not that great and I actually did get another dino lab key card drop from breakable so we do have a third and we can see on this leaderboard right now that someone actually has five rebirths done already it's currently 1 40 p.m eastern time which means that the update's only been out for an hour and 40 minutes and somebody's already rebirthed five times I don't know about you guys but that doesn't seem too legit to me but anyways that is pretty much it for this week's update it seems i'm gonna continue grinding my island and then upgrading the rest of the stuff that i didn't quite get yet let me know down in the comment section what type of videos you guys want to see for this week's update i'm sorry i was kind of lacking on this week's videos i really just couldn't find inspiration for types of videos to make i really don't want to make any type of fluff videos that don't really mean anything and don't add value to you guys so if you guys have any ideas ideas please feel free to leave them down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out